uh, more often than not, the active pharmaceutical ingredient, uh, the excipients, as well as the packaging material uh, complies with several official pharmacopoeia requirements, especially with the U.S. Uh, EU is very strict. And then we also have Japan, Australia, New Zealand, and the rest of the national regulatory agency. This trade exhibit is very helpful to those who are, um, to the companies that are providing the API, the excipients, and the packaging material. Why? Because it's, uh, it occurs on a regular basis so that the technology, the new uh, new types of API excipients and packaging material is presented not just to the locality like for example Thailand but for the rest of the world the very basic number one networking it will provide um, for any bit small or medium scale business this will provide a big opportunity for for them to be recognized and then to put, to get sales increase the sales volume. Number two, um, I believe CPHI, like what's happening like right now, there are three halls, there are three sets of um, seminars, lectures. Uh, I got the third set tomorrow in the afternoon. Um, the topics, the titles, the lecturers are experts in their own right. So we get to learn uh, more not just API, excipients, or packaging material, new technologies, um, new trends when it comes to uh, manufacturing of health products or devices. The, just like in my case, uh, I am a regulator coming from FDA Philippines, so the drug products are being produced um, according to standards, international standards, and the manufacturing or production part itself is really um, elevating up or leveling up with the current, current technology.